Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna go over my compost system here. I've got a little bit of compost from inside that I've been saving that I'm gonna throw into the compost bins. And then I'm gonna be switching out my compost here uh, for a brand new one because I gotta clean out the chicken coop, which I'll bring you guys along for as well in this video. So let's get to it. I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is some kitchen scraps that I have from inside. And just like I've got in here, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I never turned this over and I really need to, so I'm gonna be doing that now. I've got tomatoes and eggshells, potato skins, corn, husk, and stuff like that. So just really a whole bunch of different things. I don't wanna eat garbage, Dad. What is that? I don't really know. You don't know, <sighs> and you're eating it. Over here, I've got pretty much finished compost that I am unable to use at this moment. So I'm gonna actually turn this over and put this in a pile next to these bins. And then I'm gonna start this one as a brand new one. I am gonna leave a little bit of compost in here, finish compost, so that way it kind of starts the, the activation process. I'm just gonna turn this over and it's a lot heavier than it looks, I'm gonna be honest, but. Ugh. Try to get this down deep in there. So it has contact with the soil. So I put holes at the bottom, so that way any worms or bugs can come up from underneath the soil and compost this down and kind of eat all the scraps and everything. And I've also got holes along the side for aeration. So once I clean out the chicken bedding, I'll come back to this and throw that chicken bedding in. But for now, I gotta turn this over. Now, I do have this, and I had first gotten this one, and it's a small one, and I realized I really need the larger size. I may have filled that up real quick. Also, that the smaller size, this is, I think, a 32, this is a 24. It's just not large enough to be able to get the compost starting to decay as quickly. Um, it doesn't warm up as fast. Having more compost in the area allows the center to keep warm, um, warm up and, you know, do its stuff. Anyway, so let's turn this over. I've been using this as a means to kind of help turn. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm gonna put a little bit in there so that way I can get down deep really turn this over. It's kind of difficult to do, I'm gonna be honest, but I didn't come up with this process. I watched a video, a couple videos actually, but the main one was from a gardening channel called The Millennial Gardener. It's a good channel. But he did this and he had really good success. So, you know, I was trying to figure out a way to do my compost and I figured this would be the best bet for where I am. Now I could have built like a little wooden compost thing. This is easier, quicker, cheaper. That would have cost a lot and taken a lot of effort and I wanted to get something in quick. All right, so that's turned around a little bit. I'm gonna grab a hose and wet this down quite a bit before I dump this in. So compost needs to stay moist. Moisture is the essence of wetness. For it to really do its thing. Of course, you don't want it sopping wet. All right, let's dump this. We'll water this one down as well. And while we're at it, might as well water down this compost that has been sitting for a couple months and that's pretty much ready to use, I think. The only stuff that isn't fully composted down is the eggshells. Those take a while. It looks like dirt. I mean, that's pretty much what it is now. So this is real good stuff. Um, a little bit of stuff on top that needs to break down a little better, but I mean, it's pretty much ready. Look at that. Got a big grub in there. We'll take him. Ew, what's that? A grub. What's it look like? Ew. Let him do his work in there. So that'll be good for the compost. So those things, those big grubs eat a lot. And when they poop, they, I mean, that's what they create right there. So it's kind of like worms. They, you know, they eat up the stuff and then worm castings is really good for the soil. Same stuff 
same thing. So grubs, whatever it is that is in there is what breaks all this down. So we'll let that continue to compost for another month or two. This needs another about two months, month and a half to two months before it'll look like that. But we're gonna start a new one here. So I still have this wheelbarrow filled with rocks from when I was doing the tilling here. So I gotta go dump that. I've got a big pile over here of rocks just from those beds right there of tilling those beds. All right, here we go. So this is in the back corner of my property, away from anything I'm, I'm gonna be utilizing. Just back this up into it. Dump those rocks. Use this to clean out the chicken coop. Hey, out. Keep them from coming in. Let's start. I had set up a couple bars here hoping to get deep litter going and it, it helped. I mean, it's definitely deeper than it was. Sorta of did a deep litter here, but you can see the bottom stuff is a little bit darker. It's already starting to compost. All right, that's probably all I can fit for now. Take this over. Go ahead and get this in the new bin that we're setting up. And it's funny, this will completely full, fill it, but once you wet it and then over time it compresses. So now I'm gonna take a little scoop of this finished compost, break it apart a little, and that's just gonna help kind of start the process. There's mold and bacteria and stuff in there that have broken that down, that is living in that. So that's gonna help kind of really kickstart that. Also, I'm gonna spray this down kind of wet everything on the bottom here. And then each layer, every time I put another wheelbarrow full, get more. And usually I have Eli out here helping me with it. My oldest son, if you're not familiar with the channel, this is your first video with me. My oldest son's name is Eli and he comes out and helps usually with this, but he's got a lot of schoolwork that he's doing right now. So I'm just gonna let him focus on his school, and I'm gonna do this. Honestly, though, it probably goes faster if it's just me doing it. If any of you guys have kids, you know, they can sometimes make things a little harder than, than easier. It's good for them to learn this. You know, it's healthy to take care of animals. It's good for them. Like I said, he's doing school, and, and by the way, he homeschools, so. When I say he's doing school, he's inside right now, but he's doing, he's homeschooling. He's got some assignments he's working on, so that's more important right now. All right, get all this in there. Let's grab a little bit more of this finished compost, break it apart, get it up on the surface here. And of course, hose all this down. I put a bar here and usually this would be flat open. I can just sweep it out, but I screwed in a board here. So I'm gonna actually grab a drill and unscrew this and pull this board out. So that way I can get in a little easier. This board didn't really work for a deep litter method because they just keep kicking it out the front. Kind of worked in the back. You saw that it was quite deep, but right in the front there, it doesn't. So it does kind of work because I'm not, otherwise I'd have to do this once a week and I do it about once a month. So it's kind of working, but. Uh-oh. Got a strip screw. All right, well, it was stripped, but I got it taken care of. Let's finish getting this out. After I get most of it out with the pitchfork, I can come in with a, a broom and just sweep all of the rest out. It doesn't have to be perfect but I wanna get as much of this out as possible. So there definitely was more straw in there. This usually is only twice that I have to bring this over the compost and I definitely had to use it, do it three times. And we can get this back on there. All right, for the nest boxes, I just use my hands and just grab it. Let's get this over to the compost. I am full, but you'll be surprised how much that compacts down. And you know what? I've got plenty of room in here. This was completely full. And I filled, every time I did it, that was full too. Maybe not quite this much. It really compacts down, but I'm gonna add a little bit to that one since today's the first day 
of making this new one and I just put kitchen scraps in there anyway so and now I'm not going to add any of the finished compost on top of this at this moment because I've already got two scoops in there I don't need on top excuse the train guys I live right next to a train track it's really hard to film without that happening because it's every every about hour So I don't want to take a 10 minute break waiting for it to go by. All right. Composts are ready. I've got the finished compost here. I'm really happy with that. It just looks great. It'll continue breaking down a little more over time, but it's looking good. This will be now the finished one that is going to be, you know, breaking down in the next two months or so. And it'll look like that and this one is a brand new fresh one so all right let's get some fresh straw to put in the chicken coop all right let's bring this over they're all wanting to get in i got them blocked off all right so we are gonna just fill this up and i don't think i'm gonna put that wooden lock on the back here. The door alone kind of keeps it deep. It's more the front that I worry about. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Break those pieces apart a little bit, see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's gonna be plenty. In fact, some is gonna go up into those nest boxes because this is more than enough for in here. So these bundles come compressed and so when you put it in they're like chunks. When you break it up it really does break it up a lot. Now they're going to come in and scratch this and break it up even more but for now this is enough. I'm going to add more in probably a day or two because they'll kick some of this out. This is probably not going to get changed out again for another two or three months. Uh, it's cold. So we finally hit a nice cold spell. When I did this before, I thought we were going to start getting cold, but we've had quite a few 70, 80 degree days. And it's just too warm, I think, for a deep litter method. In my opinion, it kind of gets smelly. It gets gross. But in the last couple weeks, all I'm doing is adding a little bit of straw right on top of any poops that I see on the top. Of course, the chickens scratch all this in. Most of the poop gets to the bottom. Any kind of microbes and stuff start breaking that down and it actually starts the compost process. So once it goes into the compost bin and it's already starting to break down for a month. They like it real cushiony in here. Of course, they'll come in and peck it around and move it and then kind of move it out of the way so they have a nice little nest area but there we go let the chickens back in they're all going to pile in real quick they always get excited for a freshly um, bedded coop so let's let them in they come in and scratch around they think that they're going to find something new in the new compost there you know while i'm here i'm going to put this back on i got the screwdriver this thing had fallen off So the kids came up and started slamming this door, which made this, oh, well, I'm not sure that's gonna. Yeah, no, that, that needs new screw holes. There we go. All right. So the kids were opening this up and then slamming it down. I don't know what they were doing, but it just knocked that off. It just kind of stripped those screws out. So I'll have to figure something else out for that. If I want to keep it without this breaking apart, I might need to redo this whole top part because it's still a little bit wiggly, but that, that'll help for a little while. Whoa. 
that? What is that? Whoa. That was a weird noise. Yep, they're in there kicking around, trying to see if they can find bugs. Little do they know that all the bugs are gone now. <laughs> There's no uh, poop in there. They all left. I scooped them out if there was any. So, coming in exploring though. We'll probably, in the next few minutes, get one to come in and lay, most likely, because that took about an hour to do all that. And so, one of them's probably got to lay pretty soon here. They've been waiting to get in. So today we were able to clean out the chicken coop and also fix that compost system. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Also hit that bell notification for future video updates. If you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.